Hello everybody, this is Melody Conister here and I am going to make this brief video for you to show you how to link your Zoom account to Starfish. I'm on a Mac, but it's the same process for a PC. You're going to go to the homepage of Imperial Valley College. You're going to select Starfish from the faculty and staff menu. You're going to log in using your single sign-on. And then once you get in, you're going to click on this hamburger menu over here and select your name, select appointment preferences, and then under locations, you're going to want to add location. For type, you're going to select online. The name I recommend putting online-zoom. And for instructions, this is where we need to put our online Zoom room link. So I'm going to put, please access my Zoom room at the following link, colon, and then let's go get that link. You could have it either in your start menu, just click the magnifying glass and search for it, or you might have it as an icon on your desktop, which I do. It's the little camera for Zoom. It will launch your Zoom page. Or you can access the website by going to conferzoom.org and just sign in and get access to your room that way. But I always recommend downloading the application because you get more features that way and it's really quick to access it. And on your phone as well, if you download it, then if a student shows up in your room, then you get that notification on your phone that someone's waiting in your room versus just an email saying someone's waiting in your room, which is helpful. But to get the link for your room, it's along here in the top, click on meetings. And then here is your personal room link. So I'm just gonna copy that. If you don't see it up here, you can click on show meeting invitation and you'll see the link right here. Um, so we're gonna copy your room link and then just go ahead and paste it in the instructions and click save. Now that you have that as one of the room options, we still have to submit. And then we have to update your office hour block. So if we go to appointments, you're going to need to find your office hour block. There we go. So you'll have a block. It will look something like here. I'll just add one real quick. Office hours. And I'll type Melody, because I notice most of you just use your name to title for your office hours. You're having it repeat every so often. But here's the catch right here for your office hours. When you revise or add them, you need to select what options you want to be visible to the students. Right now, as we are only online because the campus is going to be closed, you need to select only your online options. So we see the one I just added right here or I have this one that I had already built in the past. Um, so either one works. I just have it in there twice. And then how long you want your appointments to be. I don't know if you're still doing 45 minutes as the default. And then what appointment type it's tied to. Most of you might just have one appointment type as an option. I have multiple because I'm part of multiple groups here. Um, and then for instructions, if you want additional instructions, in addition to what was put here as far as my room link, you could put it down here. Please ar arrive five to ten minutes early, period. Do not log in any earlier, comma, as I will likely be in a meeting with another student and unable to pick or to grant you access to the online meeting. Just something like that, something with more instructions on how you're gonna handle your online meetings. Um, personal preference here, but I do think it's helpful to let them know not to show up too early or too late. And you, this is a perfect place to put that. And then I'm gonna submit well, what time did I do it for? 45 minutes. Oh, I didn't put a time. It would have yelled at me. Um, just so that this saves okay without a heartache, I'm going to do 12 a.m. Because I know, I would hope anyway, that I don't have 
any meetings scheduled at 12 to 1 a.m. in the morning, but you never know, right? Um, let's go ahead and submit. And there it goes. So now, if I'm a student, that's going to show up that way. And now I'm going to go in as a student. Okay, so now I'm a student, and so we can see the tiles here. These are the services made available at this point in time, obviously subject to change. Um, and then we see that if online scheduling was turned on, we see the schedule button here. So I'm going to click on uh, student equity and achievement. The student then selects what the reason is for their meeting that they would like to meet about. They click continue. And then they select the date range that they're looking for and it will tell them what the availability is. And since I added myself to see just for the purposes of this training, we see I show up right here and then it lists the rooms available. So notice since I changed my office hour block and it's for online only, then it says online Zoom. Um, this counselor over here, just an example, since the default was building 100, the, most of our options right now are saying building 100. But by changing that office hour block to online Zoom as the room selection, that's what the student sees. So then they can select that particular appointment it tells them the date and time they pick. They could even share a little bit more why they want to meet and then see how location it says, please access my Zoom room at the following link. And then it tells the additional instructions I put in the office hour block. Please arrive five to 10 minutes early. Do not log in any earlier as it will li I will likely be in a meeting with another student. So then the student can click confirm and it will send an appointment invitation to the student and to you and it says right here I look forward to seeing you and the student will get an email with that Outlook invitation that they can add to their calendar so that they don't forget the appointment and then 15 minutes before the appointment they get that reminder that pops up which is awesome and see they get the notification here and so we see dear Wesley we are confirming you scheduled an appointment and then here's the appointment information and it says location online and location instructions. Look, there is my Zoom room. What's nice about this is the student will have the link in their inbox. They can pull it up during the appointment and click on it. And then once they click on it, it just opens up in Zoom. And then they can join the audio and the computer, whatever that decision is. And then it will take them into the room. And then right now it tells them they're by themselves. But what's going on on the back end is I actually get an email that tells me as the host that there's someone waiting in my room. So I hope that that was helpful. Hang in there.